Yami Yugi versus Weevil Underwood. Yugi is gone. His soul was torn away by the seal of Arikalkos due to Yami Yugi's actions. Weevil rocks up, however, and says, Bro, if you beat me in a duel, I'll tell you how to free Yugi. Spoilers, Weevil gets absolutely blasted by an unhinged Yami Yugi. And it's all because he makes the worst timed it was just a prank bro maneuver ever done on screen. However, I wondered, was this the definitive outcome? Or was there any opportunities for victory at any point in the duel? Let's find out as we jump into the duel. The duel begins and Weevil goes first. He draws and his opening hand consists of Pheromone Wasp, Parasite Caterpillar, Insect Queen, the Seal of Orichalcos, DNA Surgery, and Mimesis. Weevil immediately plays the Seal of Orichalcos. While it is activated, it increases the attack of all of Weevil's monsters by 500. It also allows him to summon monsters into his spell and trap zone, and then when they are in there, they are unable to be attacked if there is a monster in the row in front of them. Fun fact, Weevil will never use this ability of the Seal of Orichalcos. Technically the way the duel goes, he doesn't really need to use this mechanic, and if I had to assume why he doesn't use it, well, he plays a lot of spells and traps in this duel, a lot of continuous ones I should add, so maybe he wants to kill his back row free? We'll let him slide with that. Oh, the Seal of Orichalcos does one more thing, what was it now? Oh yes, uh, whoever loses this duel now, will lose their soul. Weevil ends his turn by summoning his pheromone wasp and then sets DNA surgery and Mimesis face down. Mimesis. I think it's Mimesis, actually. Mimesis? Mimesis. Mimesis. It's Yugi's turn and he draws. His opening hand consists of Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, Gaia the Fierce Knight, Curse of Dragon, Karibo, Berserker Soul, and a card that is never seen never played and ultimately gets discarded. This card is gonna stay in his hand till the very end of the duel. So we're gonna have to assume it is something that he just could not use at all. So I am going to say it is Dark Magician. Thematically, this could work as well because Dark Magician is also a little bit annoyed with Yugi from what he did in the last duel. He even gave him that stern look and he's unable to play it, so it works in the context of the duel. So I'm just going to say it's Dark Magician. Yugi starts by summoning Obnoxious Celtic Guardian into attack. He immediately moves into his battle phase and attacks. However, as he does, Weevil activates his face down Mimesis. Due to its effect, since an insect type monster is targeted for an attack, he can return it back to his hand and then special summon another level four or lower insect type monster he has. He summons Parasite Caterpillar. It now becomes the attack target. It is destroyed. However, due to its effect upon its destruction, it equips itself onto Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Now, while equipped, Celtic Guardian is treated as an insect type. It cannot be tributed, it cannot be selected as an attack target, and if it is the only monster on the field, Weevil's monsters can attack directly. And finally, this is the big one. After three of the opponent's standby phases after this card was equipped to a monster, it will be destroyed, and will then special summon a poison butterfly from Weevil's deck to Yugi's field. Yugi ends his turn. It's Weevil's turn and he draws Insect Barrier. He resummons his Pheromone Wasp and uses it to attack directly. The attack is successful. Due to its effect, since it has inflicted direct damage as Weevil ends his battle phase, he is able to special summon a level 4 or lower insect type monster from his deck. He chooses to summon his Legol. Now in his main phase 2, Weevil activates the continuous spell Insect Barrier. While it remains face up on the field, all insect type monsters Yugi controls cannot declare an attack. But Yugi only has one insect type monster on his field that he can't attack with anyway. Why would he play this? <laughs> it's because he's got DNA surgery face down, obviously. Weevil ends his turn. It's Yugi's turn and he draws Polymerization. He activates it to fuse his Curse of Dragon and Gaia the Fierce Knight that he has in his hand together to make Gaia the Dragon Champion. Yugi attacks and targets Legol. However, Weevil activates his face down DNA Surgery and declares Insect. Now, for as long as it remains face up on the field, all monsters on the field become insect type. And since insect barrier is also on the field, that means that Yugi cannot declare an attack. Yugi reluctantly ends his turn. We get a funny sub versus dub moment here. In the sub, both duelists dodge the underpass wordlessly. <laughs> 
Whereas in the dub, I find it funny that Yugi warns Weevil of the underpass and even says thank you. Weevil, look out! <laughs> Thanks for the warning. No, no, she made me laugh. And while we're talking about funny things, I love the shot of Taya when the Silovari Kalkos pushes her back. <laughs> it just made me laugh what the cameraman was pointing at. I don't know. It's back to Weevil, and he draws Cell Division. He activates it. Thanks to its effect, he can select one level 3 or lower insect-type monster he controls, and then special summon a token version of that monster with the same stats. Weevil chooses his Legol. It doesn't stay for long, though, as he sacrifices it and Pheromone Wasp to summon his Insect Queen. Which I'm only now realizing he shouldn't have. Joey won this card off him in the Battle City. However, there is an explanation. In the sub, it is actually shown that Joey chose not to take Weevil's rarest card because he wouldn't be able to use it. That's why he took the less rare Insect Queen and is most likely the reason that Weevil has more than one. Very clever. Anyway, due to Insect Queen's effect, it gains 200 attack for every insect monster on the field. Since there are four, its attack increases by 800. Weevil attacks, first directly with his Legol, since its effect allows him to attack directly. Weevil then tributes his Legol so that Insect Queen can attack. He attacks and destroys Gaia the Dragon Champion. Following this, since a monster was destroyed by Insect Queen, it special summons one insect token to the field in attack position. Weevil ends his turn. Two things I want to mention about this turn. One, Yugi has Karibo in his hand and he never activates it. He took a chunky bit of damage here, so should he have played it, it would have helped him out a little bit later. I think Yugi didn't want to negate those two damages because he wants to hold on to Karibo just in case there's a bigger bit of damage later that might be lethal. I guess that makes sense. He's going to do something really silly later, but that's for later. Don't worry about it. And the second thing is, and quite a big one, you know if Weevil would have left the Legol on the field, not summoned Insect Queen and attacked over Gaia. Gaia wasn't a threat as long as that Insect Barrow was on the field. Weevil could just attack over and over again with Legol. He's only got 1900 life points left at this point. So 8, 16, 24, three more direct attacks and, well... Weevil's won the game. However, to counter that play, Yugi could have discarded his Karibo for one of the attacks to negate one. He could have also used a card he's going to get later to destroy Legol, so it's just like dealt with completely. It's hard to say whether he'd have won, but if he would have followed that path, maybe the duel would have been different? I wonder, I wonder. It's Yugi's turn and he draws Natural Selection. With very little options, Yugi summons his Karibo to the field and to defense. It is transformed into an insect due to DNA surgery. Since a new insect type monster is on the field, Insect Queen's attack increases further. Yugi sets his Natural Selection face down and ends his turn. This is a really nonsensical turn by Yugi and I don't really understand why he summons Karibo into defense. It's better off in his hand. At any point he can discard it and he doesn't take any damage. It's doing the same thing on the field, but it's more at risk. And as we're going to find out later, it's beneficial for Weevil to one, have a monster on the field because it's a new insect type monster. And also he's going to attack into it and destroy it, which will boost another monster in a moment. So he might as well have just held it in his hand because he's got a trap card face down that can keep him alive for another turn. It's a misplay. Yugi, you misplayed. It's Weevil's turn and he draws Armored Centipede. At the start of Weevil's main phase one, Yugi activates his face down natural selection. Due to its effect, he can destroy one of Weevil's monsters and then special summon an identical token version of it to his side of the field with the exact same stats. However, it is destroyed during the end phase. Insect Queen is destroyed. Weevil and Phase tributes his insect token to summon Armored Centipede. He then attacks and destroys Karibo. Due to its effect, since it destroyed an insect type, in battle, its attack increases by 500. Weevil ends his turn, and as he does, the Insect Queen token is destroyed. It wasn't the most optimal thing for Yugi to activate Natural Selection straight away. He probably should have saved that for the battle phase in case he activated something that might have been like a bit spicy. But overall, it didn't really matter, so it's fine. However, yet again, I've got to reiterate the setting of the Karibo into defense was not a great play. And as you can saw in this turn, it's made his monster stronger. Not great. It's Yugi's turn and he draws his trump 
card, the legendary Eye of Tamias. Since three turns have passed, Parasite Caterpillar destroys Obnoxious Celtic Guardian, and then special summons Poison Butterfly from Weevil's deck to Yugi's field. Now, due to its effect, it makes Yugi take 500 effect damage during each of his end phases. Yugi, knowing he only has 1200 life points left, activates the Eye of Tamias. Due to its effect, it can fuse with any other monster to become a new, unique fused form. However, the merger fails, and Tamias destroys itself. It seems the sentient card did not take a liking to Yugi's betrayal in the previous duel, and so it refused to lend Yugi its power and as such, it negated its own effect. Yugi, mortified and unable to attack, is forced to end his turn. As he does, Poison Butterfly inflicts 500 damage to his life points. Here's a question I would like to pose to all of you. We never get to see the Tamias fused with Poison Butterfly monster. However, Yugi was sure it would turn the tide of battle. So I want to ask all of you guys, if Konami was to make this card in the real world, what name would this monster have? But more specifically, what would its effect be? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see what you all come with. Try and make it balanced, of course. I assume it has something to do with dealing damage if it's absorbed poison butterfly, so. But yeah, let me know. Maybe Konami will make it one day. It's back to Weevil and the penultimate turn of the duel. Weevil draws Infestation. He sets it face down. Since he is unable to attack over Poison Butterfly, he ends his turn. While Weevil's Poison Butterfly is his win condition, and everything he's got set up now, he's gonna win during the end of Yugi's turn. Let's just say Poison Butterfly never got summoned. The effect of his cocoon thingy never summons out Poison Butterfly, or if he just didn't have Poison Butterfly in his deck, then it just never destroys the monster. Or it destroys the monster, and it just disappears rather than summoning Poison Butterfly. That might be a thing. Uh, fun fact, he would have won. He would have just attacked with his monster because Yugi would have had 1700 life points. So that would have been game right here. However, that is not the case because Weevil planned for this outcome. He wanted this card out. And also, most likely, maybe you had to have Poison Butterfly be summoned to even use this card in the first place. So it's fine. It's Yugi's turn and the final turn of the duel. He draws and gets Breaker the Magical Warrior. He summons it to the field, and as he does, its effect activates, which places a spell counter on itself, increasing its attack by 300. Weevil, in response, activates his face down infestation. This card decreases the attack of all monsters on the field by 100, and then inflicts 100 damage to both players for every monster they control. Now, due to this, with only 500 life points left, when Yugi ends his turn, as long as Poison Butterfly is still on the field, he will lose the duel. And it is here where Weevil makes the biggest mistake of his life. He whips out a card saying, bro, this is Yugi. Here he is, I'm such a nice guy. You can have him back. Yugi walks over, pretty grateful. Nice guy Weevil, good thing for him to do. However, Weevil tears it in half. Yugi reacts and then Weevil laughs and says, bro, it was just a prank. I'm kidding, don't you have a sense of humor? But it's too late. The emotional damage has been done. Yugi declares he's gonna end this whole man's career. Yugi, in a fit of rage, activates the effect of his breaker, the Magical Warrior. By removing a spell counter from it, he can destroy one spell or trap on the field. He destroys Insect Barrier. Now, with nothing to prevent Yugi from attacking, he uses Poison Butterfly to destroy Armored Centipede. The attack is successful. Yugi then attacks directly with Breaker the Magical Warrior. Weevil now thinks he's won, since Yugi has no further attacks. However, that's where Yugi reveals there will be no next turn. He activates the spell he's had in his hand since the beginning of the duel, Berserker Soul. Now, by discarding his entire hand, he can choose one monster with 1500 attack or less. He can then mill cards from the top of his deck until he gets a non-monster card. Every time a monster card is drawn during this process, Breaker the Magical Warrior gains an additional attack. Yugi draws. The first card he gets is a monster cardo. <coughs> I mean, it's a monster card, a monster card. Monster cardo. He attacks directly. Yugi draws again and gets another monster. 
Breaker attacks again, this time reducing Weevil's life points down to zero. And with that, Yugi has won the... Oh, he's not done, I'm sorry. So he attacks again. So that's game again. Oh god, he's going again. Another monster, so he attacks again. And oh god, he's going again. Another monster, this time Alpha the Magnet Warrior. And ah, oh, there he goes. Yep, another monster. He draws a final time. No, Yamate, Yugi! The seal of Orichalcos takes Weevil's soul. However, Yugi had already broken Weevil's spirit. So there wasn't much left to take, let's be honest. And with that, Yugi wins the duel. So, could Weevil have won this duel? <laughs> no.